Hi, and welcome back for another TBR video. Winter has just started, and so I wanted to make a quick reading journal spread with the books I wanted to read. I've also again made a TBR template as a printable, which you can download for free in the link in the description box below. Please let me know which books you plan to read in the next season, I would love to hear from you. I've noticed that I personally tend to go for some comforting books and I always have the urge to reread some of my old childhood favorites or YA. I've tried to expand on this a bit more in my TBR because there are just so many books on my shelf that I really want to get to. As usual, I've divided my TBR up into the books I have on my shelf and then also my wishlist. So let's start with some of the books on my shelf. The first book I would like to read this winter is How Do You Live by Genzaburo Yoshino. It's a book that had been on my radar for a while because I heard it's the book on which one of the next Studio Ghibli movies is based on. And then I found this really pretty hardcover edition, which I absolutely just had to buy. It's supposed to be a coming of age classic in Japan. In the blurb reads, the streets of Tokyo swarm below 15 year old copper as he gazes out into the city of his childhood. Struck by the thought of the infinite people whose lives play out alongside his own, he begins to wonder, how do you live? Considering life's biggest questions for the first time, Copper turns to his dear uncle for a heartwarming wisdom. As the old man guides the boy on a journey of philosophical discovery, a timeless tale unfolds, offering a poignant reflection on what it means to be human. I don't know about you, but to me that sounds absolutely mesmerizing and I can't wait to read this on a cold, cozy day. Next, I want to finally read Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. I've been meaning to read this for the longest time and after Heartstopper, I'm pretty sure I will enjoy this one too. So really looking forward to reading more of Alice Oseman's work. I also have on my list a memoir. I've been hearing so much, so much about Jeanette McCurdy's book, I'm Glad My Mom Died. I grew up with Nickelodeon and iCarly and loved her character Sam. I expect this to be a very heavy book to read. The book talks about how she struggled growing up being a child actor with eating disorders, addiction, and her complicated relationship with her mom. I think this environment of child act actors is such a hidden part of the shows I used to watch so often growing up, and so I think it's important to learn more about that too. Another book I have on my list is Winter in Sokcho by Elisa Shua Dusapin. I picked this up at a secondhand book sale because I was drawn to the cover and then read the description, uh, which really sounded interesting. The blurb reads, it's winter in Sokcho. The cold slows everything down, bodies are red and raw, the fish turns venomous, beyond the beach, guns point out from the north's watchtowers. A young French-Korean woman works as a receptionist in a rundown guest house. One evening, an unexpected guest arrives, a French graphic novelist determined to find inspiration in this desolate landscape. The two form an uneasy relationship. She agrees to accompany him on his trips to discover an authentic Korea, and they visit snowy mountaintops and dramatic waterfalls. But he takes no interest in the real Sokcho she knows. The gaudy neon lights, the scars of war, the fish market where her mother works. And she is pulled into his drawings, she is troubled by his vision of her, until she strikes upon a way to finally be seen. I'm looking forward to reading this book because I think it's going to be very atmospheric and I like that it just has these two characters who I look forward to reading how their relationship evolves. Next on my list, I have Sorrow and Bliss, another book that I recently heard a lot about. I don't know much about the plot, but I kind of just want to go in not knowing at all. I also still have Rebecca on my TBR. I meant to read it this autumn, but didn't get around to it, um, but I hope to read this gothic classic in the next couple of months. I'm still a little bit apprehensive about the gothic mystery genre. But I know I just need to commit to reading it, which is why I have put it on my list again. 
Another classic I have on here is The Unbearable Lightness of Being. It's one of those books that has been on my shelf for a very long time and for some reason it caught my eye while I was picking out my TBR, so hopefully I will get to this one soon. The last one uh, that is on my shelf is this little book, Tales from Moomin Valley, which I picked up on my recent trip to Finland. I love buying books as souvenirs and so I picked up this cute copy of one of the Moomin stories. Now onto my wish list. Um, the first few I carried over from my last TBR because I have tried not to buy as many books. So I'm still thinking about getting a copy of Cold Enough for Snow, which explores mother-daughter relationship and is set in Tokyo. I have His Dark Materials, the children's classic, which I actually think would be perfect to read for the first time in winter. I also have Sunlin Ascends on here, the first book in the Books of Fable series, which is a fantasy series. I was recommended after reading the Greenbone trilogy, so I would really like to try this series as well. And then I have Nos Jours Brûlés, a French young adult series that is set in 2049. Um, I do have some new editions on my wish list. Um, they're actually not very new books, um, but I've been staring at Project Hill Mary every time I've gone to the bookstore lately, wondering if this is the time for me to get a copy. If you don't know this book, it is written by the author of The Martian, and the description reads, Ryland Grace is the sole survivor on a desperate last transmission. If he fails, humanity and the earth itself will perish. Except that right now, he doesn't know that. He can't even remember his own name, let alone the nature of his assignment or how to complete it. All he knows is that he's been asleep for a very, very long time. And he's just been awakened to find himself millions of miles from home with nothing but two corpses for company. His crewmates are dead, his memories fuzzily returning, Ryland realizes that an impossible task now confronts him. Hurtling through space on this tiny ship, it's up to him to puzzle out of an, a, an impossible scientific mystery and conquer an extinction-level threat to our species. And with the clock ticking down and the nearest human being light years away, he's got to do it all alone. Or does he? It's a very different book than the books I usually read, but I am intrigued for some reason, so I might get a copy of this if I see it again in the bookstore. Um, then I also have three non-fiction books on here, which is also quite different for me, but recently I've been wanting to read more non-fiction, but I don't have that many on my shelf, so I've been thinking about buying a few books that I remembered thinking were really interesting when I first heard of them. The first is Storyworthy. Engage, teach, persuade, and change your life through the power of storytelling. Uh, storytelling is something I've always been interested in and so I would love to read more about this. I also have A Half the Sky, Turning Oppression into Opportunity for Women Worldwide, in which the authors tell the stories of extraordinary women and their journeys around the world. And then finally, Ace, what asexuality reveals about desire, society, and the meaning of sex. Um, so those are the books on my TBR. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these and if you enjoyed them or not, if there are any books I should be reading instead, and of course what you plan to read. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did, and have a nice day.